best way to approach the course is with an open mind. Um, you're better off emphasizing and focusing on your experience uh, rather than trying to gather too much knowledge. And what do I mean by that? Is the practice is very simple. The experience is very natural, is you allow yourself to just rest into your body and observe what happens. That's the simplicity of it. The commitment you need is a bit of focus, uh, put aside a bit of time, um, and a willingness to stay awake. Um, a willingness to stay awake. Now, if you're suffering with insomnia and, and you're using it to sleep, perfect, go for it. Is if you wanna learn more about how to, how to relax and de-stress, well then, you want to stay awake more so you can observe the process. And a, an example, uh, one of the experiences you're looking to have is to come to that deep place of rest within your body. The place you normally go to when you're fast asleep is to allow your body to fall asleep while allowing your mind to stay awake. And that it, there's an alertness to your mind, a calmness, but an alertness to your mind. And the, the value of that is one, you, 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 it's your place of rest, inwardly in your inner space, it's, it's literally the, the place you live in in your body, your, your connection. Uh, as you go about your day, staying connect, connected to that is keeps the tension, keeps the tension uh, falling away so you, you don't let it build. Uh, it's just a very calm place to be. Uh, we'll also take you through it energetically and mentally. So your approach is um, <clears throat> open mind, don't overthink it too much, is the simplest thing is, is you want to observe the process that's already happening. Because you, you instinctually know it, your body knows how to relax. Your, your challenge on the course is to observe the process that your body goes through as it's going through it. So a simple way to describe that, there's the what and the how. Uh, uh, you will have heard this before. Um, <clears throat> You give a person a fish or you teach them how to fish. I'm showing you how to fish. But first is enjoy the fish, enjoy the experience. Is, is go through the practices and let yourself just go into them. That's the what of it. You're getting into what the experience is. But then the next level is the how. So that as you're relaxing into yourself and having the experience, you're observing yourself having it and how you're having it. And that's the process, it's different steps that your body and your mind goes through to go to that deep place of rest. And the how is really important because uh, that's when it becomes a conscious life skill. If you just enjoy the what of it, you'll enjoy it and it'll have an effect on you and you'll feel good for a while and it can wear off. You gotta go do it again. You wanna regularly do it anyway, but it's just you keep needing to go back into it. If you learn the how of it, is you can do the how while you're sitting and work. You can just relax into yourself, relax into your breath, relax into your mind, and you're still in that same place of rest. It's just you're, you're actively going about your day at the same time. It's a very different experience when you have the how of it, because you can think about bringing it into every room in your life every person you meet in your life, you're able to stay in that same place of rest, that connected place within yourself. And you're still alert, you're still yourself, it's just inwardly within yourself is you're resting into yourself, connected at the same time. So all the rooms in your life, all the people you meet in your life, and then all the situations you're dealing with, the good, the bad, and the ugly, is that you can stay connected to yourself. So that if you think about uh, tension, <clears throat> tension's like a sticky ball, you walk into a room, there's a certain atmosphere, it'll stick to you. Same with people, people in a good mood, you know, good energy will move your way. People in a bad mood, bad energy will move your way. You're dealing with situations that are stressful, again, the, that tension can stick to you. It's just the way life is. It's, it's not right or wrong, just the way it is. But how you are in yourself will, will decide how, uh, how it attaches to you. So the more you're resting into yourself and connected, is, is a lot of the tensions around you pass around you, pass by you, because you're not, you're not getting caught up in them, is you're in the room, there's people in the room, okay, that's, that's their stress, it's not your stress, you don't need to take it on. 
situations can be stressful, but the situation is stressful, you don't need to be stressful. But if you're not going to be stressful, then you need to have a place within yourself where that stress doesn't attach to because you're connected, you're relaxed. You're not engaging with that stress of life. You're engaging with the room and the people and the situation. You're just not getting caught up in the stress of it. So there's the what and then there's the how. Have lots of the what and then start to figure out the how as you're, as you're having the experience. At the start, an open mind, just don't overthink it. Because overthinking it is, is you're, you're, you're trying to learn knowledge rather than have experience. And this is all about experience. So have the experience, okay? Thank you.